Anthropic has just dropped an absolute bombshell. They've unleashed Claude Sonnet 4.5, and they are making some absolutely insane claims. I'm talking claims like, it's the best coding model in the world. That's a direct shot at OpenAI, Google, Devon, and every other AI out there. They're saying this is the strongest, most powerful model ever built for creating complex software from scratch. Now, in the world of AI, talk is cheap. We've all seen the flashy demos. So today, we're not just going to take their word for it. We are going to put this brand new beast to the ultimate test. We're loading it into the best AI code editor on the planet, Cursor, and we're going to see if these claims are actually true or just more marketing fluff. Let's dive in. So here it is, the official announcement page for Claude Sonnet 4.5. They're claiming it shows substantial gains in reasoning and math, which, if true, is a massive deal for any developer. The last version was already a genius, so claiming a big upgrade is a bold move. They're also rolling out a ton of new features alongside it. Just look at this list. In Claude Code, they've added checkpoints. This is one of the most requested features ever. It saves your progress and lets you roll back instantly if the AI goes off the rails. That alone is a game changer. They've also refreshed the terminal interface and shipped a native VS Code extension, which is huge for workflow. But this is the part that gets me excited. A new context editing feature and memory tool allowing the AI agents to run even longer and handle way more complex tasks. And inside their Claude apps, they've brought in code execution and file creation. We're talking spreadsheets, slides, documents, all generated directly inside the conversation. This thing isn't just a chatbot anymore. It's becoming a true all-in-one AI workhorse. Now let's get to the part that really matters, the numbers. This is where you separate the hype from the reality. This chart shows its performance on software engineering benchmarks. And wow, look at Sonnet 4.5. It is not just beating, but absolutely crushing all the other models. It's dominating Opus 4.1, Sonnet 4, GPT-5 Codex, GPT-5, and even Gemini 2.5 Pro. This isn't a small incremental improvement. This is a massive leap forward. Let's check the other benchmarks. Financial models, same story. It's at the top. Law, medicine, STEM, it's a clean sweep. Sonnet 4.5 is at the top of every single one of these charts. And just look at what early users are saying. We've got companies like Cursor and GitHub. Cursor says they're seeing state-of-the-art coding performance. GitHub says it amplifies GitHub Copilot. These are massive, massive endorsements from the biggest names in the game. So the hype is real, the numbers are real, and the reviews are real. But the question remains, can it handle a real-world project from scratch right in front of our eyes? It's time to put this beast to the test. We're heading over to Cursor, which in my opinion is the single best way to code with AI. It's not just a text editor with an AI bolted on, it's an AI-first code editor built from the ground up to integrate perfectly with models like Claude Sonnet 4.5. And by the way, speaking of cursor, if you don't have the pro version and you're tired of hitting limits, you're in luck. I've made two dedicated videos on this channel showing you exactly how to get Cursor Pro for free with unlimited uses. Go check those out right after you watch this. You will not be disappointed. Okay. Here we are inside the Cursor application. We're gonna start a brand new project from scratch. First, let's head over to the settings, go to the Models tab, and you can see all the top tier AI models are available right here. We've got Claude 4.5, Sonnet, all the different GPT models, Gemini, everything you could ever want. We're gonna make sure Claude 4.5 Sonnet is enabled and ready to go. Look at that 200K context window. That's absolutely massive. Now let's close the settings and let's start a new chat. We'll select Claude 4.5 Sonnet as our agent. And now it's time for the real test. This is not gonna be a simple hello world or make me a button test. We are going to build a complete professional landing page for a fictional AI startup called FileSync. I'm gonna paste in a very detailed prompt here I've told it to build a landing page that lets users share files instantly using a modern tech stack, Next.js and Taiwan CSS. I've even specified the exact vibe I'm going for, a professional Silicon Valley startup aesthetic. But the most important part of this prompt is the last line, work completely autonomously and deliver a stunning result. I wanna see if it can handle the entire project on its own without me holding its hand. Let's hit send and 
Let this beast cook. Okay. It's immediately planning its next moves. It understands the request and is now creating a detailed to-do list. This is the power of a true agent-based workflow. It's not just mindlessly spitting out code, it's thinking like a senior developer. Look at this incredible plan. Initialize Next.js project with Tailwind CSS. Create hero section with stunning visuals. Add feature section with animations. Create testimonials. Add a footer and polish the design. This is a complete professional project plan generated in seconds. Now it's generating the command to create the project. Let's run it. And here we go. It's running in the terminal right inside the editor. The AI is setting up the entire project folder for us. This is where it's installing all the dependencies we'll need. React, Next, TypeScript, all the heavy lifting done automatically. The project is now initialized. Now it's checking for errors, none found. It's always good practice to check your work. And now it's moving on to the next step. It's building the folder structure, reading the files, and you can see its thought process right here. It's thinking for a few seconds, trying to figure out the best way to approach this. It's like having a senior developer sitting right next to you, planning everything out before writing a single line of code. It looks like it had a small hiccup trying to edit the page file, but watch this. It's smart enough to recognize its own mistake and try a different approach. It's now running new commands to fix the issue. This is incredible. It literally debugs itself in real time. Can your AI do that? And there it goes. It has successfully fixed the issue and is now writing the code for our main page.tsx file. Look at it generating the React components the hero section with the main headline, the feature section. It's even mapping over an array to create the feature cards. This is clean, professional, production-ready code. It's writing the JSX, the styling with Tailwind CSS. It's not just pasting a template from some other website. It's building this from scratch based on my prompt. Look at it go, powering through the pricing section, the call to action, the footer with all the links. This is the entire landing page being written from top to bottom in real time. Okay, the code for the main page is done. Now it's moving on to the layout file and the global CSS for some additional polish. It's thinking again, planning its next steps. It's gonna check the layout file, modify the styling. This is exactly what a meticulous human developer would do. It's creating the readme file now. Can't forget the documentation. And now the final step. It's starting the development server. No error is found. The server is running. I'm getting excited. Now for the moment of truth. It's giving us a full, detailed breakdown of everything it's created. The design highlights, the hero section with an animated mock-up dashboard, a navigation bar with the glass morphism effect, the feature cards with hover animations, the complete sections it built, even all the technical features like Next.js 15 with app router, TypeScript for type safety, and a fully responsive design and it gives us the link right here. Let's open localhost 3000 in our browser and see what our new AI partner has built for us. And there it is. Wow, a completely stunning, professional and modern landing page. Look at this design, the hero section with the animated gradient text, the beautiful start free trial button, it's all here. As we scroll down, here are the powerful features for modern teams with these beautiful, subtle hover effects on the carts, how file sync works, a simple, clean three-step process, the pricing section with the most popular plan highlighted. It even designed this beautiful gradient call to action at the bottom and a fully featured footer with all the necessary links. This is absolutely insane. Let's just take a moment to really appreciate what just happened. A single detailed prompt and Claude Sonnet 4.5 working inside Cursor has created a complete production-ready and genuinely beautiful landing page in just a few minutes. It handled the planning, the coding, the styling, the debugging, and the deployment. This confirms it. The claims from Anthropic aren't just hype. This AI is an absolute beast for coding, and it's going to change the way we build software forever. This is the kind of secret weapon that will give you a massive, unfair advantage. If you want to be the first to know about more game-changing AI tools like this, often before they're even released to the public, you need to join my Discord server. It's a completely free community where I share my absolute best AI tricks, the latest news, viral scripts, and even source code that I don't share anywhere else. It's a place where builders like you come together to create amazing things. The link is right at the top of the description. Join us. 
If this video was helpful and blew your mind as much as it did mine, do me a huge favor and smash that like button, leave a comment with what you want to see me build next, and please subscribe to Code Director. It tells YouTube that this content is valuable and helps me keep finding these insane tools for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.